and welcome back to Visit File Coast. Hey, it's Wednesday the 23rd of August today, not that you would know looking at the weather, because it's quite, it's quite cool I have to say. So I thought it was appropriate to start today's video on the beach. I was going to climb inside it, but it's a bit smooth and a bit slippery, and knowing me I'll end up on my bum at Mary's Shell. So this is the sculpture on the beach that belongs to the story of the sea swallow and there's the ogre there look at the end of at the end of that groin let me get my finger pointing in the right place so that's where the ogre lives at the end of that groin if you've not managed to find him before and this is two of the two of the several pieces of artwork that live on Cleveland's seafront that tell the story of the sea swallow which of course is Cleveland's own story of myth, legend and local folklore with tales of sunken villages and, and petrified forests and all the rest of it. And we've got an exciting, we've got an exciting addition to this to the story appearing as I speak in Jubilee Gardens. So we're going to go across to the gardens and we're going to go and take a look and we're going to go and see what our artist is doing in preparation, in preparation for a fun day on Saturday the 26th. So we've got our toes and fingers and everything crossed that it's going to be fine weather. And there of course is the Andor Cafe where Star Wars was filmed recently. So if you're new in these parts make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to give the video a like and we'll go and see if we can find our artist. It's quite a tow up these steps, so I think I'll probably, I think I'll probably walk up the steps on my own and then you're not hearing me gasping like a fish. The beach is all beautiful and clean and smooth this morning. We've got a legion of our beach cleaners out down there. I don't know whether you can see them look, because there's quite a lot of plastic and litter being washed up on the tides. So they're doing their good deed for today. And the eagle-eyed at once among you might have noticed that the cafe's had a bit of a paint job downstairs. And there's a chap up there just painting the top bit as well. I think that's a spot of rain I've just felt. So that'll look a lot neater and tidier. And the noise that you can the noise that you can hear at the back of you is the diggers. So they're not diggers, either the dumpers, the tonker trucks, big tonker trucks, just going back for some more rocks. And we are heading off to Jubilee Gardens. Did you know? that the Fowl Coast has got two Jubilee Gardens. There's this one, and there's one at Gin, not quite Gin, Gin Square, at Blackpool. <coughs> and this is, this is our version of Jubilee Gardens, and this is where our artist is working. This huge boarding around the site of the Y Beach Management Scheme has given us a beautiful opportunity to do a beautiful piece of artwork and a fun event at the same time as well. So this is what Christian Fenn has already started doing, otherwise known as the Artist Seeker One. And Christian paints all over the world. He's uh, quite an amazing street artist. Does all kinds of different things. He's done the recent Only in Fleetwood one on the side of the building at, at Lord Street. If you want to go and have a look at that in Fleetwood. So he is bringing to life the story of our sea swallow trail. So this is a work in progress. The contractors have already painted the background colours. So there's a section of it in white and then a section of it in black. So the bit that's painted in is the full extent of what is actually of what is actually painted. So I've seen I've seen the, the design that he's working to. So this beautiful chap, of course, is our ogre with his paddle that he carries around with him. This is the shell coming along nicely. This is going to be the wire light. And then fluttering away from the end of it is a whole host of butterflies. And on Saturday, on your prayer mats and pray for sunshine, this is going to be the site of our first Cleveland Town Centre Group event and the first family fun day that we're holding. So we're doing fundraising, you'll be able to get your own butterfly, you'll be able to paint your own butterfly and give it a name, fluttering round the corner. 
for a donation to the Care for Cleveland Fund. You'll be able to talk to the team and see if you want to join in and help with with Care for Cleveland and whatnot. And you'll be able to take part in some of our fundraising. Here he is, look, we've found him. He's back on the job, he's back on the job, he's busy. He's busy fading the picture in at the side. I'm not gonna tell you what he's doing with this joint here, but it'll be good. It'll be good, he's very good, he's our Christian. Watch a master at work. It smells nice as well. <laughs> the paint, not Christian. It's very good, it's very clever. And he's started his clouds and his ogre. Look, this is a, this is a close up of him. He's been doing his hands this afternoon. Just look at that. It's Amazing, amazing, here's all this clobber. We just need everybody on their hands and knees praying for sunshine now, for, for Saturday, for the fun day. So don't forget, come along to Jubilee Gardens, sort of here. Oh, look, there's Mary. Can you see her? Can you see her in the chalk outline? Come along to Jubilee Gardens <coughs> on Saturday the 26th and round about here, round about here in this area, there will be a fun day with all kinds of interesting stuff. And you'll be able to paint a butterfly. So this black line here is gonna turn into a host of butterflies paint, fading away. Hope you've enjoyed that little look round, that little video. And we will see you at the weekend. So from Jubilee Gardens and the story of the sea swallow, which is just starting to come to life, we will see you soon. Bye for now.